In this video, I'll show you how to use PS ScriptPad to create a Windows Forms application with PowerShell. PS ScriptPad is a tiny little editor for PowerShell. It weighs in under 4 megabytes, is a single file, and works with Windows PowerShell. In the top left hand corner of PS ScriptPad, you'll see that you'll have a drop down here where you can click New Windows Form. Clicking that will open a new Windows Form document with uh, the Windows Form Designer on it. On the left hand side, we'll want to click the Toolbox button and then you can pin it with the uh, auto hide button. Uh, inside the toolbox you'll see that we have a bunch of different controls. Some of the common controls such as buttons and checkboxes and labels are all available inside this list. Let's add a button to our form. So now that we've added a button we can move it around, resize it, and edit the properties of that button. For example we can change the text on the button to say click me. If I hit Control S or the Save button, it'll open up the Save dialog and I can type Form. This will save three files. The first is our form.designer.ps1 file, which contains the designer code for it, the Windows form. The other files that it creates are the form.ps1. So in the form.ps1, you'll see that we have the code that actually starts the form, such as adding system Windows forms, uh, the assembly. Um, opening the designer and showing the dialog for the form. Additionally, there's a resources uh, form PS1 that's going to contain data about the resources that you add, such as pictures or fonts or icons. So if we click on our form.ps1 and click the run button up here or press F5, you'll see that our form opens. The button click me clicks, but it doesn't do anything. Let's add a picture. Uh, picture box to our form designer. So if I go to the toolbox, find picture box, and then add that to the form, resize it, and let's find a picture to add to our form. So I'm going to put a PowerShell logo here under or above our button. So I can click on my picture box here and select um, the image property, and I'll click this uh, PNG file I have on my desktop. You can see here now I have this PNG inside my uh, form here. I'm going to resize it a little bit. And if I save that and go over to the form.resources.ps1, you'll see that we now have that image saved as a base64 string inside uh, this particular file. If I press F5 or click the Run button again, it's going to start the form and you can see the image is now inside my form. In order to add event handlers to our form for things to take action when thing, uh, users do certain things, such as clicking buttons or entering text into text boxes, what we'll want to do is select the control that we want to add an event uh, handler to. So in this case, I selected my button. In the top left of the properties window here, you'll see that I have this events tab. I can click on events, and then I have all the different events that this particular um, control can do. So uh, in this case, the most standard event for a button is the click. And what I can do is enter uh, a name for my um, event handler. I'm going to just name it uh, clicked. And I'm going to press enter. What you'll notice now is once I save this and I go to my form.ps1, I have a clicked uh, script block here. The clip, click script block is what is actually called by the form designer when the button is clicked. So uh, if we actually go in here and put some code, so we're going to do system.windows.forms, I can type dot message box, show, and then I just want to say hello. So now we can save that, and if I click my run button, you'll see that I have my form, and if I click this, now we have a hello message box up here on the screen. So now that we've created our form, what we can do is we can actually package our form into an executable that we could then give to end users. So there is a button on the menu bar up here in PS Script Pad called Package. Package will actually use uh, the .NET Core um, SDK to build a XE that you can then provide to end users instead of uh, providing these three PS1 scripts. So I'm going to click that, and you're going to notice some output in the bottom of the terminal down here where it's packaging and it'll tell you where it has packaged that particular file to. So now if we go to the desktop and find uh, this form.exe, we can then click, double click that file 
and you'll see that our uh, PowerShell form has opened. It includes our image as well as our button. And if we click our button, it'll actually pop up the message box that we put inside uh, our event handler. So in this video, I took you through how to create a new Windows form application with PowerShell using PS ScriptPad and packaging it as an XE that you can then distribute to your end users.